Hello and welcome to TBI Talk, the channel where we share tips and information about traumatic brain injury and its recovery. I'm your host, Ryan, and I'm a TBI survivor myself. In this video, we're going to talk about what it is to have a traumatic brain injury or TBI, and what are some signs and symptoms that you could look out for. A TBI is an injury that occurs when the brain experiences sudden trauma or damage typically from blows to the head or body or from an object that pierces the skull and enters the brain. Not all blows or jolts to the head can result in a TBI. That some can cause temporary or long-term problems with normal brain function, such as how you, un how you think, understand, move, communicate, and act. More serious TBI can, you, can lead to severe and permanent disability and even death. There are two broad types of head injuries, penetrating and non-penetrating. Penetrating TBIs often happen when an object pierces the skull and enters the brain tissue, such as a bullet, shrapnel, bow fragment, or weapon. Penetrating TBI typically da damages only part of the brain. Non-penetrating TBI is caused by an external force strong enough to remove to move the brain within the skull, such as falls, car accidents, sports injuries, blast injury, or being struck by an object. Some accidents can cause both penetrating and non-penetrating TBI in the, same per in the same person. The signs and symptoms of TBI can vary depending on type, the height, location, and severity of the injury. Some signs or symptoms can, may appear immediately after the traumatic, traumatic event, while others can appear days or weeks later. Some of the common signs of symptoms of TBI are Loss of change in consciousness, loss or change in consciousness from a few seconds to a few hours, headache, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, or fatigue, problems with speech, memory, concentrating, or decision making, mood changes or mood swings, feeling depressed or anxious, sensory problems such as blurred vision, ringing in the ears, a bad taste in the mouth, or changes in the ability to smell, sensitivity to light or sound. Physical problems such as loss of coordination, balance, or strength, weakness, or numbness in the limbs, or seizures. Cognitive, behavioral, emotion, or emotional problems such as confusion, ag agita agitation, combatness, slurred speech, or coma. If you or someone you know has experienced a blow or jolts of the head or body that concerns you or causes behavioral changes, you should seek immediate medical attention. A TBI may be diagnosed and treated by a doctor or a specialist, such as a psych as such as a neurologist or a neurosurgeon, who can perform various tests and scans to assess the level and extent of the brain of the brain damage, depending on the severity of the injury. The treatment options may include medication, surgery, or rehabilitation. Recovering from a TBI can be a long and challenging process, but there it is po it is impossible. It is possible to improve your quality of life and function with the help of your family, friends, and healthcare providers. You can help find support and resources from other TBI survivors and communities such as tbitalk.com, where you can share your stories, tips, and questions with other with others who understand what you're going through. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, TBI Talk, or go to tbitalk.com.